Hi, welcome to the MedCenter.com. In this video, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. I'm going to tell you how to score an A in A-level physics. Okay? How to score the grade A in A-level physics. Now, the emphasis will be on the CIE syllabus. Okay? That's the syllabus that we have done a great deal of work in. So, I'm going to tell you all the main points involved in how to achieve success. And by success, I mean getting a fantastic grade, that is, an A grade in A level physics. So, I've made a few points here to take you through one by one. And uh, if you uh, adopt this method of studying, uh, if you stick to uh, all the points that I've raised here, uh, you will attain success in A-level physics. Okay. If you're doing A-level physics, probably you have an instructor in school or college or something. Okay. So, because you need to do some lab work. So, point number one. I'll read the points in case you can't read what's in the board. Okay. Point number one. Read your lecture notes your class notes, okay, the notes that your instructor in your class or your college uh, gives you, okay. Read the lecture notes or the class notes for the relevant topic that you're studying, okay. For example, if you are doing gravitation, okay, if you're doing gravitation, uh, your lecturer would have given you adequate notes on the topic. Uh, go through the notes, uh, look at all the formulas, Make sure you understand all the ideas in the notes, okay? So that's the first step. Your lecture notes or your class notes, if you want to call them. Uh, go through them in detail. Uh, make sure you know what your instructor has uh, mentioned in the class. Make sure you know the whys. Make sure you know the formulas and so on, okay? Uh, that's the first thing. Understand the ideas in physics. So uh, go through all the topics, I mean, yeah? The other thing is, you, for each topic, you need to work problems, okay? Once you have understood the ideas, work the homework problems, okay, that your teacher has given you. Uh, work it, as you work it, make sure you know why you're doing those things, yeah? So if you're using a formula, make sure you know exactly why you're using the formula, what was asked in the question, work it. Now, when you work the problem, please make sure you write out the solution, okay? Write out the solution. Okay, for each problem that you work, write out the solution and file it if you write it on a piece of paper or better still, write it in an exercise book so it will be with you for all time, okay, until your exams. So, again, first point, yeah, very important. Read your class notes, make sure you understand the ideas, okay. Uh, work through the problems, yeah? work through the problems, and I must emphasize, please write out the solution, okay, write out the solution. As you write out the solution in physics, you catch on to the ideas really well. Okay, next, once you're finished with the class notes, second point, you need a textbook, okay, go to a textbook. There are quite a few textbooks recommended by the uh, CIE, okay recommended by the CIE board and uh, one of the books that I use okay one of the books that I use there are many books I use for I'm talking about A levels is this book okay it is uh, international A slash AS level physics uh, it's written by Chris Me and a team of authors yeah it's written by Chris Me. it's one of the books that I use and and I think it covers the syllabus adequately so, again, once you have covered your class notes, you know roughly the, the main areas that are discussed in class, go to a textbook, do the relevant reading, okay? Do the relevant reading and see if you have missed anything out, okay? Now, please pay some attention to definitions, uh, proofs, and so on that are required by the exam. Good. The next very important point is, please do this. Look up the syllabus the CIE syllabus where do you find it you'll find it on the website yeah? the CIE website you'll find the syllabus 
And our the subject that I'm talking about physics here, the subject code is 9702. That's the CIE physics syllabus. You'll find it uh, on the website. Download it, okay? Keep a printed copy with you, okay? Print it out. Uh, once you have covered number one and number two, go look at the syllabus. Now, for example, if you have covered gravitation, yeah? If you have covered gravitation, go to the section on gravitation and see if you have covered all the learning outcomes in the syllabus. Very important, yeah? Very important. Okay? Once you have covered point number one and point number two, Go to your syllabus and see if you have covered all the learning outcomes. I'm going to use the word bullet points. Okay, if you look at the learning outcomes, okay, uh, let me wear my glasses. If you look at the bullet points, I'm talking about, let's say, uh, if you look at uh, this, is an example of uh, what I'm talking about the syllabus, the CIE syllabus of physics. Uh, let's say 24.1 here, for example, characteristics of alternating curves. So you will see all these learning outcomes. Now, once you have finished reading your class notes and you have done all your reading in your textbook, uh, make sure that you are able to uh, answer questions that are related to your learning outcomes. So, for example, understand and use the terms period, frequency, peak value, root mean, square value, as applied to an alternating current or voltage. So you must know it. So you ask yourself, oh, do I know this? Have I learned this? Am I able to write out an answer for this? If they ask you what's the root mean square current, for example, um, root mean square value of, let's say, something of a current. If they ask you, you should be able to write it out. Okay, so make sure you go through all the bullet points and you're able to write out answers to this. You've covered this. Okay, so um, it's extremely important that you look at this learning out outcomes after you've gone through uh, reading your lecture notes and looking at your textbook. So that you don't, uh, you're pretty confident of the stuff that you need to know for an exam. Okay. Now, as you go through your learning outcomes, don't forget, yeah, as you go through your learning outcomes, there may be things that you may have not really caught on to or you may have not really understood. Make extra notes. Okay? Make extra notes. Where do you get this note from? Write it out yourself. Write it out yourself. Yeah? Open up the textbook. There are quite a few textbooks that are recommended by the CIE. Look at the textbooks. Look at the areas that you're not sure of. Oh, I'm not sure of this answer. Uh, how, do I, how would I frame uh, an answer to a question that is uh, related to this learning outcome? Write it out. Yeah? Make extra notes. Okay? So remember, you already have your class notes. Make extra notes. Okay. Then what do you do? Go to the mathcenter.com. Okay? Go to the mathcenter.com, our website. Okay? Let me read what I've written here, okay? Get the past year, 10 years, yeah? Get the past year questions. I have uh, worked through paper four, okay? Paper four is uh, part of the requirements for your A2 grade. So, get the past year, 10 years. I mean, I've done it for 10 years. That's why I put down 10 years here. Get the past year questions, paper four, arranged by topic, okay? Arranged by topic. Now, all are fully worked out. All are fully worked out. I work them out. What you need to do is work through the problems yourself first. Okay? Get the questions. Where do you get the questions from? You can download the questions from the website. Okay? Get the questions. Don't look at the answers. Yeah? Don't look at the answers. Okay? My website has uh, all the questions I've arranged by topic uh, for, you know, over the last, for the past 10 years. Okay? So, uh, for example, yeah, if you are looking at gravitation, you will find the last 10 years worth of questions in gravitation all arranged for you. So don't look at the answers, yeah? Look at the questions, write out answers. I repeat, write out. Okay? Write out the answers on your own, okay? On a piece of paper. Write out the answers, and let's say you're not able to work it out, okay? Then you look at my solutions, okay? So always attempt the questions that I've arranged for you. Attempt it yourself. Write it out. If you're not able to, then you look at my solutions and you can make a comparison. Okay? I want to remind you, uh, all the past year questions are available on the mathcenter.com website. They've all been arranged by topic. So please go ahead and get them. It'll, uh, it'll help a great deal in uh, getting you a good grade. Okay? Now, once you're done with that, 
we are going to talk about revision. Now, when you start revision, you're going to repeat 1, 3, and 4. 1, which is reading lecture notes. Remember, I call it, I call it lecture notes, you like, you can call it class notes. Lecture notes or class notes. Remember, now this you have added some extra notes. Okay? In here, you have added extra notes. So, repeat 1, 3, which is make sure that you know all the learning outcomes in the syllabus. Okay? So, 1, 3, and 4. Go back to the past year questions. Rewrite the answers to the questions. Okay? Repeat. Okay? Rewrite. Because sometimes when you look at solutions, ah, you know how to do it. But when you ask to do it on your own, you'll find that you will struggle a bit. So, in order not to end up with problems like those, always write out questions. Uh, excuse me. Write out the solutions to the questions. Okay? Write it out. And make sure, oh, I know how to do it. Yeah? So, Repeat steps one, step three, and step four. Okay. Now um, there are some guidebooks. One of the guidebooks uh, I recommend is a book, a revision guide in physics, uh, written by Richard Woodside, and I think it covers most of the ideas adequately. Okay. So it helps in your revision process. Okay. So uh, I'm talking about getting an A. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I think it is something that is uh, attainable. Now, if you follow these things, lecture notes, textbook, extra notes, go to themedcenter.com, get the positive questions arranged by topic, work through them, and then in your revision do the same thing, okay, you will be fine. Now, extra reading, if you want to do it in physics, extra reading, right? Uh, let's say you, uh, you have read, uh, you have covered all your syllabus and you feel pretty good, and uh, you know you you want to pick up some extra information on let's say quantum mechanics or quantum physics okay or quantum physics you can go and look up uh, books which are available in the market some of the good books in physics that I personally like okay I like books I like the book written by Ken Pauli okay this is one book that I really enjoy reading uh, Ken Pauli G I A N C O L I I also reckon I also like another classic. Uh, Resnick and Halliday, okay, Resnick and Halliday, uh, there's a new author now, the new edition is a new author, I can't remember, okay, uh, so there are many books, there are many good books in physics if you want to do some extra reading, this I repeat is for extra reading, if you really enjoy, let's say if you really enjoy quantum physics and you want to learn, it may be a little bit on the harder side though, but as far as a great A is concerned, this five steps that if you do this really well, you'll get an A in A-level physics. Thanks.